let me show you what you need. You need just a screwdriver and obviously um, some thermal paste, as they call it. Uh, the, sh the cover comes off quite easily. You just pull the slide, slide the handle, the cover comes off. With the cover off, uh, the CPU sits under here, and this is the fan here. Uh, there's a screw this side and a screw this side, uh, but you can't get to it, so you need to release the CD drive. You do that by pulling this handle here. When you pull the handle, the CD drive slides back. And out. Once it's out of the way like that, there's two screws, one there and one there. Just unscrew those. Once you've undone those, you can slide it up like that and then it comes out. And as you can see, um, paste is on the bottom and on the top of the old CPU. So I'm just going to clean that up now. Okay. So what you can do is just go the cloth, give it a quick rub. Okay, so that's clean there. Um, the next thing you need to do is take the CPU out. And it's held in by this clip there, you probably can't see. Um, there you go. And as that releases, it should lift, allow it to lift up once that's moved back. release it again it's got enough movement um, the hard drive power cable is in the way but if you unplug that you should get it to turn enough to get it out there we go it's up so as you can see CPU is ready to come out. Um, I'll get the new CPU. <coughs> this one's the new one. Um, it comes with its own thermal paste, but I'm using uh, some high boards. Try not to touch. Oh. Try not to touch the bottom of the CPU, and obviously, don't drop it like I did. You can see on the socket where it actually there's two small indents and that's how it lines up so I'll get some paste on mine spread it out I'm using Arctic MX4 put the paste on the newer thermal pastes don't dry on just spread that across the CPU. There Just try to cover it evenly. Like so, and then I'll pop the old CPU out. You can see the position there. Put that to one side, put the new one in. The new one just drops in, fits into the slot where the old one came out. Put the cage down, slide that back over. It's quite a bit of force that you need as it's seating the CPU. There you go, well, that's in position. Once that's done, you just need to reverse, put the fan back on, and uh, boot it back up. Thanks for watching.